Hello everyone and a very good morning to all of you and welcome to Baidu's exam prep, the most comprehensive preparation app for on exams. Today is 28th February and as we all know from Monday to Thursday at 11 a.m. in the morning we come up with the Hindu analysis. So today is 28th February and we, have, we are here with the Hindu analysis of 28th February that is Monday. So today is Monday 20 February and today the Hindu analysis class we discuss kar rahe ja rahe. So uh, actually two are important articles on the first page. Uh, here it says CBI postpones questioning as Sisodia cites budget work. So this is one article. Uh, then another article is Indians go west, take up residence by investment. So these two are important articles uh, we will be discussing today. So first of all, uh, let's start with this one. Uh, CBI postpones questioning as Sisodia cites budget work. See the Deputy Chief Minister of Delhi, his name is Mr. Manish Susodia. So uh, there are some allegations against him in Delhi excise policy. And CBI is doing investigation. Kuch un par aarop hai, to usse related CBI jo hai, wo sawaal jawab kar rahi hai. Uh, but recently what has happened is ki Sisodia, Manish Sisodia is also actually, uh, he is a very senior actually Deputy Chief Minister in Delhi and he is a very senior minister in Delhi and he is involved in making budget, budget for Delhi government, right. So like we have budget at all India level, there is budget at uh, every, I mean every state and the union territory where you will find the Chief Ministers and all, okay. So har raja mein bhi ka apna apna budget hota hai. और जहां जहां चीफ मिनिस्टर होते हैं वहां के यूनियन टेरिटरी में भी बजट होता है सो मोस्ट लाइकली वेरी सून देयर विल बी अ बजट इन दिल्ली लेजिस्लेटिव असेंबली फॉर द डेवलपमेंट ऑफ दिल्ली नाउ सो मनीष सिसोदिया रिक्वेस्टेड सीबीआई टू पोस्टपोन एक्चुअली द क्वेश्चनिंग सो पोस्टपोन का मतलब क्या होता है पोस्टपोन का मतलब होता है डिले एट अ फॉर अ लेटर टाइम एंड डिले अ थिंग डिले समथिंग Uh, for few days, few weeks, whatever you can say. So, कुछ दिन के लिए postpone कर दिया गया. मतलब है कि uh, CBI जो है सवाल पूछेगी बाद में. मतलब जब uh, budget complete हो जाएगा तब. So that is what uh, Manish Sisodia requested. Uh, so you can see, you must have seen uh, his uh, Mr. Manish Sisodia. He hold a whole pre budget meeting with city traders, बहुत सारे businessmen से मिले, उनसे राय वगैरह लिया. Then you can see Sisodia seeks time to appear before CBI as he is busy preparing the budget. And CBI officials say the agency has accepted the request and will uh, issue a fresh notice to him in the coming days. So, what is the notice? What is the notice? What is the notice? So, CBI might have issued some notice and all that you have to come and answer these questions. But he has requested he uh, please uh, delay it, some, uh, postpone it because I am preparing the budget and that is important, of course. I think it's clear. Is it clear? So, I have written to the CBI and asked for time as I am finalizing the budget of Delhi and it's a crucial time. And I have told them I will come after the last week of February and answer all their questions. Okay, so uh, Mr. Sisodia, who he holds the finance portfolio as well. So I hope you are aware, even at All India level, the finance minister actually delivers the budget. Similarly, at state level and union territory level, the finance minister delivers the budget. So the Delhi's finance minister is Manish Sosodia himself. Okay, so Manish Sosodia is also the finance minister, the Vita Mantri. Bhi hai. So, उनका बहुत अहम रोल है उन्हीं को बजट पेश भी करना है. So that is why, in order to ensure that budget should not be disturbed, so Delhi Union Territories budget should not be disturbed. CBI agreed कि okay, we will be listening, we will be asking questions from you at a later time, maybe uh, means as request as requested by Manish Sosodia in the last week of February, once the budget is delivered. ठीक है? Yes, good morning everyone. Good morning guys. हाँ. Okay, now since we are talking about CBI, so of course there are some questions. What is the motto of CBI? The first is Dharmo Rakshati Rakshita, uh, Yato Dharmasthato Jaya, uh, Protection and Security, Industry, Impartiality and Integrity. Your time starts now. Ab batao. Deko, ye dono Sanskrit word hai. So maybe my pronunciation might be slightly uh, not correct. So uh, uh, forgive me for that. Okay, aap se ye poucha jara hai ki CBI ka motto kya hai? So, चलो हम लोग जान लेते हैं धर्मो रक्षति रक्षिता. This is actually the motto of RAW, Research and Analysis Wing. Uh, आपने सुना होगा. देखो कभी-कभी इसे एग्जाम में पूछते हैं मोटो वगैरह. या तो धर्मस्तत्व जया. This is actually the Supreme Court. And this was asked, I think, in a late exam. ये पूछा था. 
Then the next is protection and security. This is actually uh, the motto of CISF. Have you heard about CISF? Central Industrial Security Force. Uh, you will find this force uh, in airports. Uh, you will find it actually in metros. Na, me uh, metro station. Yeah, metro mein jo checking hoti, pa CISF ki jawan hoti. Uh, airport security ke liye. Na. Industry impartiality and integrity is actually the CBI's motto. So yes, uh, people, some people have answered it. Okay, yes, Zoya Khan, D is the right answer. Very good. Anyone else? Or kisne D bataya? Yes. Ha, Rashmi Kant Oja, you all are right. Yes. Ha. Yes, Amolia Raj, D is the right answer. Yes, you can see it here. Uh, so, uh, industry, impartiality and integrity. Okay, so this is the motto of CBI, that is Central Bureau of Investigation. Now, you have to tell me it comes under which department? Your options are Department of Economic Affairs, Department of Personnel and Training, Department of Internal Security, Department of States. Your time starts now. You have to tell me that CBI, which is in many news, you have to tell me which department comes under. Yes, uh, please answer it. So, dekho, ab aap samjho. Department of Economic Affairs is related with budget making. Na? And uh, the right answer actually is DOPT, Department of Personnel and Training. Ye cadre Controlling Authority bhi hoti, ISIPS, especially IS ki. Cadre Controlling Authority of IS Officers. Department of Internal Security, Department of States, you will find under Home Ministry. These two. And someone has written in the live chat, ki, sir, it comes under Home Ministry. No, that is not correct. CBI is under Department of Personnel and uh, Training, which comes under Ministry of Personnel, which comes under Prime Minister directly. So it is not under actually Home Ministry. It is not correct to say. Theke? So now you don't say that Home Ministry is under. Mein aata hai. Theke? DOPT, which is Ministry of Personnel, is under Prime Minister's control. Mein. So it is not correct to use the word ki it is under Home Ministry. Theke? So B is the right answer. Yes, uh, Girti Pal, Rashmi Kant, Zoya Khan, you all were right. Anna? Mr. Subodh Kumar Jaiswal is an IPS officer. He is the head of the agency and DOPT is there. Now the first page, this was an article, Indians go west, take a precedence by investment. So if you like button press, we are seeing 6 likes, 19 is watching. So everyone please press the like button. Uh, west, ka matlab, we are actually, whenever we use the word west, we generally refer to USA, uh, American, you can say uh, USA, Canada, then uh, Europe, ha na? Ye sab log West word use karte hain. Means American, North American countries and European countries are generally uh, given the name West. Ki Pachin ki taraf jare, udar jare. Residence by investment. So it says high net worth individual are making a beeline for such programs in US, Portugal, Australia, Malta and Greece. So high net worth individual, which we call local basha mein kehte, Amir log, right? So actually it is defined as having one uh, more than one million dollar of wealth. Yeah, 8.2 crore se zyada hi jiska wealth ho. So if you are having uh, in your bank account or total wealth more than 8.2 crore, uh, it is actually generally considered as high net worth individual. Yeni aap Amir logo ke category mein aage, agar aapke paas 8.2 crore hai. So those people are actually preferring to leave India. Uh, they try to go to US, Portugal, Australia, Malta and Greece for better opportunities, healthcare, quality of life and education. Better opportunities, maybe they'll be searching for better jobs, better earning, health care. So they need more good quality health uh, structure, quality of life. They want luxurious life, perhaps, and quality of education. They want their children to study in Harvard, Leeds, Oxford and all. So these are the reasons. This is the reason why high net worth individual are going US, Portugal, Australia, Malta and Greece. So let's see where it is where exactly it is so us portugal australia malta greece so here is india this is usa and ye wala usa ye wala portugal hai hai na yahan pe ek island hai malta island theek hai okay ye wala this one is malta island let me write it here hai na ye wala portugal ho gaya ye wala usa ho gaya this is greece and this one is australia theek hai so these are the places where actually indians are based. us portugal australia malta greece hai na so these are actually the five places they have mentioned that Indians are preferring to uh, leave and go there and settle there. So uh, the serious thing is that in 2022, it is actually the highest number of Indians have renounced their citizenship, almost 2.25 lakhs. Renounce means what? Leave it. 
भारत की नागरिकता छोड़ दिया है लास्ट ईयर 2.25 लाख इंडियंस ने भारत की नागरिकता छोड़ के बाहर चले गए जो कि हाईएस्ट है इट इज हाईएस्ट इन द पास डिकेड इन द लास्ट टेन इयर्स पिछले दस सालों में ये सबसे हाईएस्ट है जिसमें भारत ने अपनी भारतीय ने अपनी नागरिकता छोड़कर कहीं और चले गए इन द लास्ट टेन ईयर्स इट इज द हाइएस्ट इन विच एन इंडियन हैज लेफ्ट हिज सिटीजनशिप His or her citizenship to go abroad. So you can see these are the numbers, but in 2022 the numbers is very high. Okay? देखो अब होता क्या है? In India we do not have dual citizenship. So the moment you take the citizenship of any other country, you will automatically lose Indian citizenship. ठीक है? भारत में dual को citizen नागरिकता का concept नहीं होता है. तो जैसे ही आप अमेरिका का या ऑस्ट्रेलिया का, ग्रीस का कहीं की भी नागरिकता लेते हैं, अपने आप आपकी Indian नागरिकता चली जाती है. So that is why you should be knowing it. So they have actually applied and all. So they are saying the primary reason is professional reason and other reasons as well. 2.25 lakh Indians have announced their uh, citizenship, uh, uh, renounced their citizenship, which is the highest in the last 10 years. So this is written that for better opportunities, for more money, for more health care, for more good hospitals, for more hospitals, for more quality life, education, etc. And all. Yes. Uh, yes. He actually recently, uh, uh, Minister, uh, Foreign Minister, Mr. S. Jay Shankar, uh, has provided a list of 135 countries whose citizenship Indians acquired. तो इंडियंस कहां कहां गए 135 मुल्कों में गए मतलब 135 का नाम लेना तो पॉसिबल नहीं है ना तो ये चार पांच फेमस कंट्रीज है ठीक है जहां गए तो जस्ट हैव एन आईडिया अबाउट इट एंड दिस इज द हाईएस्ट वन तो रिनाउंस द सिटीजनशिप पिछले सिंस 2011 इट मींस इन द लास्ट 11 इयर्स 16 लाख इंडियंस हैव लेफ्ट देयर इंडियन सिटीजनशिप एंड द हाईएस्ट वाज लास्ट ईयर दैट इज इन 2022 ठीक है सो पिछले 2011 से लेकर अभी तक 11 12 साल में 16 लाख भारतीय ने अपनी नागरिकता छोड़कर दूसरी जगह चले गए सो नाउ द क्वेश्चन इज व्हाट इज हाई नेट वर्थ इंडिविजुअल एच एन आई होता क्या इसको है सो द पर्सन हैविंग मोर देन वन मिलियन डॉलर ऑफ वेल्थ और 8.2 करोड़ बिकॉज वन वन डॉलर जो है एट एटी टू के बराबर है ना तो इफ यू कैलकुलेट वन मिलियन डॉलर इज एट करोड़ यानी अगर आपके पास आठ करोड़ बीस लाख रुपया है या उतना के बराबर वेल्थ है तो आप एच कहलाओगे हाई नेट वर्थ इंडिविजुअल यानी अमीर लोग राइट right? So that is what it means. ठीक है. So most of the HNIs are of course from Mumbai, Delhi, Kolkata, Bangalore, Hyderabad, Pune, Chennai, Gurugram, Ahmedabad. जाहिर सी बात है. ज़्यादा तो जो अमीर रिच लोग रहेंगे वो ही बड़ी शहर से रहेंगे, है ना? So they are actually from these nine cities, famous cities. Now uh, there is a question for you. Mr. Tarak Ratna has recently passed away. He was actor, singer, journalist. None of the above. Your time starts now. What is the right answer, guys? Kya sahi jawab hai? Yes, the right answer is actually he was an actor. So A is the right answer to this question. Actor Tarak uh, Tarak Ratna had a passion for politics. Says Naidu. I mean, uh, he passed away. He was from Andhra Pradesh region, I guess. Telangana, Andhra Pradesh, and all. So yes, uh, A is the right answer. Ha, Rohan, uh, Priya, Chavan, you are right. So those who are from this region uh, are aware of this, hai na? Is the right answer. Yes, Priya Chavan Amolia, you are right. Okay, the next is Chandrayaan three. This was also very much in the news. It will be launched by ISRO in uh, in which year? 2023, 2024, 2025, 2026. According to the plan, means this is the plan. Maybe in the future, if it gets changed, then uh, 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 it's a different matter. But what is the plan of ISRO to launch Chandrayaan three? When will launch? 2023, 24, 25, 26. And please. आंसर इट इन द लाइव चैट की चंद्रयान थ्री इज अ मिशन फॉर विच फॉर वॉट रीजन मीन इट विल बी सेंट टू एक्सप्लोर वॉट मार्स मून रेनस जोबिटर वॉट एंड वॉट इज द फुल फॉर्म ऑफ इसरो भी पूछा है एग्जाम में एम एच सी टी में देव आज दिस वॉट इज द फुल फॉर्म ऑफ इसरो हजार तेईस आई थिंक इन जून दिस ईयर दे विल बी लॉन्चिंग एज फार एज माई नॉलेज इज कंसर्न ये हो सकता है जून में इसी साल लॉन्च करें सो ए इज द राइट आंसर टेल नॉट दिस इज द प्लान And Chandra, uh, dekho, Hindi word, if you know the Hindi or Sanskrit, you can understand. Chandra means moon, right? So of course this will be a mission uh, of moon, right? Uh, so we have already sent Chandrayaan one and two, so this will be the third version. And recently it has tested some machine, I mean some test EMI, EMC test, uh, that is why you should be knowing it. Uh, dekho, hai. ISRO lines up uh, big tickets, uh, Sun, Chandrayaan 3, Gaganyaan line submission for 2023. So most likely June 2023, but see. We hope that it should be done. Yes, this row is full form Indian Space Research Organization. Very good, Rohan. Ah, ah. They have. This is on their website. I have seen this, and they have written. They have written. This is 19 February. This is yesterday's report. 
चंद्रयान थ्री अंडरगोस ई एम आई ई एम सी टेस्ट देखो एक टेस्ट होता है वो मशीन की वहां टेस्ट होता है इतना डिटेल नहीं जानना है कि ई एम आई ई एम सी टेस्ट होता क्या है बट जस्ट हैव एन आइडिया यू आर रॉ सेटेलाइट सेंटर बैंगलोरू में ये टेस्ट कंडक्ट किया गया जस्ट हैव एन आइडिया अबाउट इट कोशी स्नेहा यू आर द राइट सो द फुल फॉर्म इज इलेक्ट्रो मैग्नेटिक इंटरफेरेंस इलेक्ट्रो मैग्नेटिक कंपेटेबिलिटी टेस्ट वॉज कंडक्टेड ठीक है सो जस्ट हैव एन आइडिया अबाउट इट ना लेट्स टॉक अबाउट एडिटोरियल्स तो हम लोग एडिटोरियल पे चलते एक दो तीन चार ये हैं सो लेट्स टॉक अबाउट दिस वन द क्यूरियस केस ऑफ डिस्कालिफिकेशन ऑफ अ पॉलिटिशियन सो दिस इज एक्चुअली ऑन द बैकड्रॉप ऑफ अ लक्ष्मदीप एम पी बींग डिस्कालीफाइड ओके द क्यूरियस केस ऑफ डिस्कालीफिकेशन ऑफ अ पॉलिटिशियन ना अब देखो इसमें है क्या पहले हम लोग जान लेते हैं कहा चले गए हाँ सो ही इज एक्चुअली वॉज एक्चुअली द लक्ष्मदीप एम पी Lakshadweep is an island, है ना? Member of Parliament. So he was found, he was convicted. Convicted मतलब proved guilty in a court of law. So he was convicted uh, by a district court in Lakshadweep that uh, of attempt to murder. So he actually uh, tried to attempt to murder someone, uh, son-in-law, former union minister, Mr. P. M. Sayed. Sayed. So he was convicted and sent to jail for ten years. now the law is the moment you are convicted by a court the moment you are convicted by a court where punishment is more than 2 years then your mp or mla ship will go at the same time jaisi aapko adalat ne saza di aur us saza mein 2 se saal se 2 saal se zyada ki saza hai to aapki mp mla ship usi waqt khatam ho jayegi okay is it clear so since he was jailed for 10 years the moment he was actually convicted his he has been actually disqualified usi tarah unko lok sabha ke mp ship se disqualify kar diya gaya so that is what actually it says so this is uh, this uh, if you read it section 8 of representation of people's act agar aap padhoge section 8 class 3 class 3 padho yahan likha na person convicted of any offense and sentenced to imprisonment for not less than 2 years likha na pehle isme padhna section 8 mein kya likha hai person disqualification on conviction of certain offenses उसमें लिखा है कि if you are uh, found guilty by a court and the jail term is more than टू years then the moment it is actually been found you will be actually disqualified ठीक है तो जैसे पहले क्या होता था earlier actually थ्री months time was given if you have been found guilty by district court if you are an MP or MLA so सो थ्री मंथ्स गैप मिलता था इफ इन दैट थ्री मंथ्स इफ अई कोर्ट और सुप्रीम कोर्ट स्टेज the order then you will continue to be mp but the supreme court struck this three months order uh, concept and it said ki the moment the lower court declares you to be a convicted person having a jail term of more than 2 years you are actually uh, means your mp ship or mla ship is gone okay to pehle hi hota tha ki 3 mahine ka time milta tha agar aap 3 mahine mein ja kar ke high court ya supreme court se stay karwa di to aapki mp ship ya mla ship bachi rehti thi lekin ab kya hai ki nahi jaise hi lower court ne announce kar diya ki aap गिल्टी हो और आपको दो साल से ज्यादा की सजा है वहीं पर आपकी एमपीशिप एमएलएशिप की जोया खान प्लीज आस्क दिस क्वेश्चन फ्रॉम निवेदिता मैम और सुरजीत सर दे विल एक्सप्लेन यू इन डिटेल अबाउट दिस है ना गो अबर ऑन टू यस नाउ सो दिस इज एक्चुअली आई होप यू ऑल आर वेयर दिस इज इंडिया दिस इज द दिस ऑफ कोर्स लक्षद्वीप आइलैंड इज ऑफ कोर्स अ पार्ट ऑफ इंडिया एंड द कैपिटल इज कावारती सो कावारती डिस्ट्रिक्ट कोर्ट ने ही अनाउंस किया था तो इसी पर उन्होंने लिखा है कि हैज बीन सेंटेंस टू जेल फॉर टेन ईयर सिमिलरली आजम खान वाज आल्सो अब्दुल्ला आजम खान वाज आल्सो डिस्कालीफाइड एंड ऑल तो उसके बाद क्या हुआ कि देन ही एक्चुअली व्हेन ही वाज डिस्कालीफाइड व्हेन ही वाज कन्विक्टेड द एक्चुअली द इलेक्शन कमीशन ऑफ इंडिया आई मीन द लोकसभा अनाउंस हिज डिस्कालीफिकेशन एंड ऑन 18 जनवरी इलेक्शन कमीशन ऑफ इंडिया अनाउंस दैट देयर वुड बी रीइलेक्शन इन लक्षद्वीप ठीक है सो जैसे ही उनको हटा दिया गया जैसे ही वो फाउंड किए गए कन्विक्टेड हुए तो फॉरन लोकसभा ने उनको डिक्लेयर कर दिया कि ये डिस्कालीफाइड है निष्कासित है फिर इलेक्शन कमीशन ने चुनाव भी अनाउंस कर दिया बट हाई कोर्ट लेटर ऑन स्टेट द ऑर्डर ना द क्वेश्चन इज अगेन द सेम थिंग हाई कोर्ट ने स्टे लगा दिया बट स्टिल ही लॉस्ट एक्चुअली हिज डिस्कालीफाइन एम पी शिप राइट है ना आई टोल यू तो अब देखो उसमें आपको ये बताना है प्रोविजन फॉर डिस्कालीफिकेशन is given in article x of the indian constitution what is x 101 102 103 104 the time starts now provision for disqualification kaha mentioned hai yes the right answer is article 102 so b is the right answer uh, isme dekho unhone mention kiya hai if you read article 102 it says 
disqualification for membership. Isme kya likha hai? So they have given a lot of reasons. One of them is this. If the parliament has made any law and under this law also you can be disqualified. So under this law actually parliament has made a law called as representation of people's act 1951. Yes. Ek so do ki under hai banai gaya. Deko representation of people's act has been made under this. Anna. And I have told you if you read section 8 clause 3 it clearly says if you have been jailed for more than 2 years you will be actually uh, disqualified and all. Thik hai haan. Isi ki baat ki ja rahi hai na. So that is what is being discussed. Yeh mein bata raha tha ki pahle dekho na 3 months allow hota tha. If a lower court let's say district court finds you a guilty. So if 3 months gap is given if in that 3 months if a high court or supreme court stays the order then you will not lose the MP ship or MLA ship. But now this concept is gone after Lily Thomas case. Jaise hi lower court, the moment the lower court says, actually uh, this, uh, I mean you are actually disqualified. Like usme counter argument bhi. Jaise maala for example, if a, if an MP has been declared convicted by lower court, ठीक है? Or he has been disqualified. Now he'll go to high court, supreme court. Abad ne pata chala ki no he is innocent. Let's say for example the high court or supreme court overturns it. Now the cost of re-election, re-election is very high. Chunao honi in India mein bahut kharcha hota hai. Right? A lot of heavy expenditure is done. Right? The government do expenditure. Not only that, the politicians also do expenditure. So they do a lot of, uh, not only, uh, black money bhi involved hota hai. You must be aware of that. To kahi bar keta hota hai ki jitna expenditure hota hai, usse kahi zade practical level par hota hai. So actually in India, elections are very costly. Elections in India are considered as very costly. I don't know about other countries, but here you have seen that when there is an election in India, there is a lot of money. There are a lot of parties that are also a lot of money. Then the government is also a lot of money. The government is also a lot of money. All the people, the whole entire police force and all the people. So the counter argument is that if you are foreign disqualified, if you are high court or supreme court, then there will be a lot of money. So that is also one thing. Of course, a lot of investment is being done and all. तो ये एक दोनों का आर्गुमेंट है, ठीक है? So he is also talking about Abhijit Singh Sidhu and all. So he was actually convicted and sentenced. He got the sentence stayed by Supreme Court and all. But still, actually he was disqualified and all. Because the moment the lower court orders, you are disqualified. जैसे ही ऑर्डर करेगा कि आपको दो या दो से लंबी साल की सजा, जैसे he was given three years of sentence by lower court. So in that case, I mean of course it is more than two years. He was disqualified. फिर बाद में शायद सुप्रीम कोर्ट ने स्टे लगा दिए थे बाद में सुप्रीम कोर्ट एक्चुअली गेव आई थिंक वन ईयर जेल टर्म फॉर नवजोत सिंह सिद्धू एस फार एस माइन नॉलेज इज कंसर्न ठीक है तो इसी पर है दोनों पक्ष है लक्षदीप सीट इज वैक एंड नाउ एंड देर विल बी एन इलेक्शन बाई इलेक्शन एंड ऑल आई होप इट्स क्रिस्टल क्लियर नाउ द नेक्स्ट वन इज बैटल फॉर द सेना अब ये समझना है देखो इट्स वेरी सिंपल आई होप यू आर अवेयर दे इज अ पॉलिटिकल पार्टी कॉल एज शिवसेना विच इज एक्चुअली बेज इन मोस्टली इन महाराष्ट्र Uh, there are in other states as well, but mostly it is famous in Maharashtra. It was uh, founded by Bala Saheb Thakri. And actually, I hope you are aware, uh, his son, Mr. Uddhav Thakri was the chief minister of Maharashtra. But within the party, split happened. And Eknath Shinde, many actually MLAs supported Eknath Shinde. And then, of course, they made the alliance with BJP and all. You know these things. Uh, last year, you will see. So, 14 May, he resigned. Then, 30 June, last year, he became the chief minister. Now, so the battle was uh, there ki kon original uh, asli shiv sena hai, which is the main shiv sena. So that was this case ki who, this symbol should be given to whom? Mr. Eknath Shinde or Mr. Uddhav Thakre. So recently election commission of India decided that it should be given to Eknath Shinde. Thik hai, aap samajh gana, toh abhi election commission ye decide kiya ki ye wala symbol joh Eknath Shinde se aapko dena jana chahiye. Now, of course the case is actually in the court as well. This actually can reason here that perhaps he is having the support of four MPs and MLAs and all. Okay. So, you can read it. But yes, the court is also there. I mean, Supreme Court has said we will be hearing from 21st February onwards. Yeah, it will be hearing from tomorrow in this case. So, let's see what happens. Anti-defection law, there is a lot of news. I mean, anti-defection law. So, go and read it. And there is a homework. Go and find out which schedule of Indian constitution deals with anti-defection law. भारत के संविधान का कौन सा शेड्यूल जो है एंटी डिफेक्शन लॉ से रिलेटेड डील करता है कोई फाइंड आउट अब एक ही है पिक्चर ऑफ इस्लाम दैट इज क्वाइट डिफरेंट अगर आप चौदह पढ़ सकते हो बट एग्जाम पॉइंट ऑफ व्यू होता है फॉरन नहीं सो आई लेफ्ट इट इफ यू वॉन्ट यू कैन रीड इट ये वाले पढ़ लेना एल्डर बेन अल्टरकेशन देखो इसको भी थोड़ा सा आइडिया रहना बिकॉज इट इज नॉट ऑल इंडिया लेवल न्यूज इट्स डेल्ही लेवल न्यूज देखो 
MCD elections is happening municipal corporation of Delhi. I mean, the, the third tier election. I have told you the, the, the parliamentary election, then state legislative assembly, uske niche hota, third tier. Hai na? So the local bodies election, municipal corporation, Delhi election is happening and mayor needs to be elected. Mayor ko bhi chura jana hai. Okay. Now, in that case, to log chunte hai unko. So what happened was Lieutenant Governor actually allowed 10 aldermen nominated by them, um, by him to vote actually. So, in the Supreme Court, a nominated person cannot vote. Cannot vote for mayor elections. In MCD polls, uh, municipal corporation Delhi polls, mein, mayor jitane ke liye nominated person vote nahi ka sakte. Only the elected person can vote. So, that is what it was in the news. So, just have an idea. Ek aur pata hona thi, opinion mein, why the caste survey in Bihar worries the BJP? Dekho, this is a slightly political article, uh, but caste survey you should be knowing. Okay. So, both the Nitish Kumar and uh, Tejasvi uh, Yadav from uh, actually Bihar were demanding that all India level caste census should happen. Okay. But uh, for the past many years, we have not seen any caste census. So, can you tell me that the last caste based census happened in the year what? 1911, 1921, 1931, 1931, 1931, 1931, 1931, 1931, 1931, 1931, 1931, 1931, अब इसका मतलब क्या है थोड़ा सा समझ लो कास्ट बेस सेंसस में क्या होता है व्हेन कास्ट बेस सेंसस इज डन लाइक राइट नाउ द सेंसस इज डन लाइक दिस जैसे सेंसस हुआ नॉर्मल लेट्स से 2011 का सो इट टेल्स यू अबाउट रिलीजन बेस कि हाउ मेनी हिंदूज आर देयर हाउ मेनी मुस्लिम्स आर देयर हाउ मेनी क्रिश्चियंस सिख एटसेट्रा आर देयर एंड एज़ फार एज़ कास्ट इज कंसर्न इट ओनली टेल्स हाउ मेनी परसेंटेज ऑफ एससी एंड एसटी इज देयर सो आई थिंक सो 15 16% है एसटी है 7% के आसपास बट इट डज नॉट टेल यू कि अब how many percentage of uh, Brahmins are there? How many percentage of Yadavs are there? How many percentage of, uh, uh, let's say, Rajput is there? Ye, iska census nahi hota hai ki percent kon se caste ke log hai. This census has not been done since 1931. Okay, so yes, the right answer is C. Kisi ne answer kiya hai? Nahin. Koi baat nahin. So C is the right answer. So, this is what they are demanding that there should be a caste census. So India level pe to nahi ho raha hai, but yes, they are organizing it at Bihar level. So just have an idea about this. So our caste census samaj ke? इसमें होता है सेकंड हाफ में एक था इनकम टैक्स रेट सर्ज अमिड पुअर कन्विक्शन रेट रेट सर्ज सर्ज का मतलब होता है इंक्रीज कन्विक्शन रेट यू नीड टू अंडरस्टैंड कन्विक्शन रेट इज नॉट वेरी गुड एक्चुअली देखो कन्विक्शन रेट मतलब होता है ऐसे समझो फॉर एग्जांपल इफ अ पुलिस हैज अरेस्टेड 100% फॉर सम क्राइम बट आउट ऑफ दोस 100% ओनली लेट्स से 45% वेयर प्रूवन गिल्टी इन कोर्ट what we use the word conviction and 55% were actually acquitted by court acquitted matlab they were uh, uh, they were said ki, court said ki no they are actually innocent so the conviction rate here would be 45% aap samajh rahe ho agar police ne 100 logo ko arrest kiya matlab 100 different crimes mein 45 logo ko prove kar payi court mein ki ek criminal hai aur court ne maan liya ki ha ye 45% log criminal hai bas 55 ko Proof nahi kar paain. So this is called as conviction rate. Okay. So conviction rate more than 70 and 80 percent is considered as good. If it is less than that 40, 50 percent is very bad maana jata hai. So that is how this tells the success of police force. Success of any agency or police force. Thik hai. So yehi kisi agency ki success ya uh, badati ki. Agar aap dekho. If you want to know whether CBI is successful. Go and find out what is the conviction rate under CBI. Go and find out what is the conviction rate under NIA. Go and find out what is the conviction rate under ED, income tax. So, this is how you can that which agency is successful hai, with the help of that conviction rate. Yes, those. Huh. So, according to this article, conviction rate is not good in income tax. Ka, is article ke se. So, as you have written recently, the BBC, etc. rate was in the news. So, they are saying, showing that income tax, if you have seen that in the conviction rate is very poor, I mean, 7.3% is very less. 2040 में सिर्फ 155 150 पर कन्विक्शन हो पाया इफ यू सी फिस्कल ईयर 2016 टू 2020 तो इसमें और ही खराब है 2.4% सो कन्विक्शन रेट इज नॉट वेरी गुड एक्चुअली वेरी पुअर नॉट वेरी इंप्रेसिव सो सो में समझ लो 2.4 केसेस में प्रूव कन्विक्टेड हो रहा है बंदा ये बंदी सो आई मीन दिस इज एक्चुअली नॉट वेरी गुड एक्चुअली दैट इज व्हाट ही इज सेइंग द ऑथर इज सेइंग नाउ द केसेस अंडर पीएमएलए हैव गॉन इंक्रीज्ड 
में केस जो लगाया गया है वो बढ़ गया है पीएमएलए मीन प्रिवेंशन ऑफ मनी लॉन्ड्रिंग एक्ट प्रिवेंशन ऑफ मनी लॉन्ड्रिंग एक्ट लॉन्ड्रिंग एक्ट तो प्रिवेंशन ऑफ मनी लॉन्ड्रिंग एक्ट अब देखो सेंस 2017-18 यहां से द केसेस नंबर ऑफ केसेस फाइल्ड अंडर पीएमएलए हैज इंक्रीज बट ऑफ कोर्स कन्विक्शन सबसे इंपॉर्टेंट होता है केस फाइल करने से बेहतर जो होता है कन्विक्शन से पता चलता है कि कितने लोगों को प्रूव किया जा सका है कि अदालत में कि इन्होंने क्राइम uh, किया या जो भी हालत काम किया सो दैट इज वाई हाउ तो ये सबसे इंपॉर्टेंट चीज होता है ऑलवेज एनी एजेंसी सक्सेस एनी पुलिस फोर्स सक्सेस इज एक्चुअली डिपेंड्स ऑन दिस कन्विक्शन रेट सो दैट इज हाउ इट इज ठीक है सो दैट इज वॉट वी हैव डिस्कस तो इसको पढ़ लेना अपना जस्ट गो एंड रीड इट है ना द नेक्स्ट इज सुप्रीम कोर्ट एंड सील कवर जो रिस्पोर्टेंस इसमें क्या था एक्चुअली Recently, the Adani Group Hindenburg issue and all was in the news. So, someone filed a petition that there should be a committee to inquire about the Adani issue and all. The government said, "Okay, we want to give some suggestions of the person who should be in the committee, and I want to give it in sealed cover." But Supreme Court said, "No, no sealed cover. You have to tell me in public." ठीक है तो sealed cover तो इसी पर article है sealed cover jurisprudence पर and all. ठीक तो जस्ट गो एंड रीड अबाउट इट पहले भी हो चुका है रफाइल जेट केस आसाम एन आर सी केस आईल कवर हाउ इज इंडिया एड्रेसिंग सिकल सेल एनिमिया देखो सिकल सेल एनिमिया वॉज इन द न्यूज बिकॉज रिसेंटली इन द बजट द फाइनेंस मिनिस्टर टॉक्ड दैट बाई ट्वेंटी फोर्टी सेवन वी विल बी इलिमिनेटिंग इट एट मिशन मोड प्रोजेक्ट ठीक है तो उनने ये कहा कि सिकल सेल एनिमिया को मिशन मोड यानी पूरी ताकत लगाकर दो हजार सैतालीस तक खत्म कर देना सो दैट इज वॉट द टारगेट इज Uh, anemia i hope you are aware i mean it's related with uh, hemoglobin and all so uh, means a defect in hemoglobin actually it is also anemia jo hota hai usme iron ki kami ho jati hai the shortage or deficiency in iron and all so that is what sickle cell anemia is all about which of the following is correct about ins vikramaditya it is indigenously developed it was bought from russia from usa from france what is the right answer सबको लाइक बटन प्रेस कर दो एवरीवन प्लीज प्रेस द लाइक बटन वी आर सीइंग 19 लाइक्स 22 इज वाचिंग सो सबको लाइक बटन प्रेस कर दो सो आईएनएस विक्रमादित्य इज अ इंडिजिनस इट इज नॉट एन इंडिजिनस एयरक्राफ्ट कैरियर वी हैव बॉट इट एक्चुअली फ्रॉम रशिया सो टू इज द राइट आंसर टू दिस क्वेश्चन टू इज द राइट आंसर सो देखो ये न्यूज़ था पेज नंबर 12 में लेवी प्लान्स फॉर अनदर विक्रांत साइज कैरियर बिफोर विक्रमादित्य रिटायर्स ठीक है सो आईएनएस विक्रांत आपको पता होगा दिस इज आवर एक्चुअली द इंडिजिनस एयरक्राफ्ट कैरियर इंडिजिनस इन मेक इन इंडिया एयरक्राफ्ट कैरियर है यस बी इज द राइट आंसर वन नहीं सही है आप लोगों ने वन आंसर कर दिया है वो आई विक्रांत के लिए वन आंसर है ठीक है डो नॉट गेट कंफ्यूज तो आई एन एस विक्रमादित्य जो है ना अगर आप पढ़ोगे उनके बारे में सो वी हैव बॉट इट एक्चुअली फ्रॉम रशिया एन ऑल आई एन एस विक्रांत हमारे यहाँ बना हुआ सो इफ इफ इट इज आई एन एस विक्रांत देन वन वुड बी द राइट आंसर ठीक है बी केयरफुल एंड आई एन एस विक्रांत हैज बीन मेड बाई विच इंडियन कंपनी Cochin Shipyard Limited, Garden Reef Shipbuilders Limited, Mazagon Dock Shipbuilders Limited, Larsen and Tobro. Your time starts now. Ha. देखो पहली बात तो अब थोड़ा सा लॉजिक लगना Larsen and Tobro इंडिया कंपनी नहीं. I think German वगैरह कहीं की. So four तो होगा नहीं. ठीक है. So because it is indigenously developed. So Cochin Shipyard Limited has made INS Vikrant. तो आपको यही सब का ध्यान ख्याल रखना है एग्जाम में कि गड़बड़ा नहीं जाना है. So this is actually has been first made in India, है ना? Cochin Shipyard Limited. तो आई एन एस विक्रमादित्य कैसे इंडिया में बना होगा जब फर्स्ट विक्रांत ही है तो है ना सो अप्लाई दैट लॉजिक यस सो दिस इज आई एन एस विक्रांत ठीक है दिस इज मेड इन इंडिया आई एन एस विक्रमादित्य वी हैव एक्चुअली बॉट फ्रॉम रशिया एंड वी आर प्लानिंग टू रिप्लेस विथ मेड इन इंडिया वर्जन ऑफ एक्चुअली सिमिलर टू आई एन एस विक्रांत जैसे हम लोग आई एन एस विक्रांत बनाए वसी बनाया जाएगा आई एन एस विक्रमादित्य को रिप्लेस uh, करके हो सकता है रिटायर कर जाए कुछ दिन में यहाँ यहाँ पर ए राइट आंसर गुड Christians demand national level panel to redress targeted violence so they were protesting that there should be uh, there has been uh, according to them there has been rise of incidents uh, crime against community and all so they were uh, actually requesting ki national level panel bana si that there should not be targeted violence against christians so it was in the news go and read it uh, national commission on minority ek hota hai national commission on minority so go and read about it whether it's a statutory body whether it's a constitutional body who is the chairman president is sab padhiye ja ke national commission for minority ke bare mein so they are talking about the hate speech and all against education community this ko pad lena just go and read it now under which operation india is helping turkey operation ganga operation devi shakti operation namaste operation dost your time starts now turkey ko uh, india ne help kiya hai 
जो कि अर्थ को क्या हुआ था वहां तो कौन से ऑपरेशन के अंडर एंड इट इज वेरी फेमस एक्चुअली द राइट आंसर इज ऑपरेशन दोस्त ऑपरेशन गंगा तो था यूक्रेन से बच्चों को बुलाने में है ना तो ब्रिंगिंग इंडियंस बैक ऑपरेशन देवी शक्ति ब्रिंगिंग इन इंडियंस बैक फ्रॉम अफगानिस्तान हेयर डी इज द राइट आंसर यस शिव यू आर राइट डी इज द राइट आंसर हां विनीत यू आर राइट हां तो आपने देखा होगा ये फोटो है ऑरेंज जो है ना एनडीआरएफ का ड्रेस होता है नेशनल डिजास्टर रिस्पांस फोर्स का ठीक है सो दे हैव कम बैक एंड दैट इज द फोटो देखो ऑपरेशन दोस्त लिखा हुआ भी है यस डी इज द राइट आंसर यस अमोलिया प्रथम यू आर राइट इंडिया प्लान्स टू एक्सपोर्ट सोलर पावर ऑफिशियल सेस कि ये हो सकता है हम लोग फ्यूचर में सोलर पैनल को एक्सपोर्ट करेंगे so actually our target was uh, to actually reach 175 gigawatt by 2022 but it's not honi by actually we could only install 122 gigawatt hamara target ye tha ki 2022 tak 175 gigawatt solar power panel install kar de taki 175 gigawatt renewable energy create kar paye but utna honi paye 122 hi ho paya but we hope that it would be better in future theek hai Uh, एक और ये न्यूज में था मोर भी ट्रेजेडी आई होप यू रिमेम्बर दिस लास्ट ईयर आई थिंक इट वाज वेरी मच इन द न्यूज इन गुजरात देर इज अ प्लेस कॉल्ड एज मोरबी जहां पे ब्रिज कोलैप्स कर गया था ये हैंगिंग ब्रिज था इस टूट के गिर गया था एंड आई थिंक मेनी पीपल मोर देन हंड्रेड पीपल डाइड यू रिमेम्बर दैट सो उसमें क्या हुआ एस रिपोर्ट रिसेंटली केम स्पेशल इन्वेस्टिगेशन टीम रिपोर्ट केम एंड इट सेट के कोरोडेड वायर्स अमंग द कॉजेस ऑफ मोरबी ट्रेजेडी सो कोरोडेड मतलब क्या होता है कोरोजन यू अंडरस्टैंड जंग लगना समझते हो जंग लगना रस्टिंग सर वेरी सिमिलर टू दैट रस्टिंग जो होता है ना कि लोहा में जंग लग गया सो दैट इज कॉल्ड एज रस्टिंग और कोरोजन सो अकॉर्डिंग टू दी आई टी रिपोर्ट तो इनफैक्ट जो उसमें जो लोहा था वो सब में जंग आलू था इट मीन आई मीन दे आर कोरोडेड एंड बिकॉज ऑफ इट वन ऑफ द मेन रीजन फॉर दैट अनफॉर्चुनेट इंसिडेंट सो वन थर्टी फाइव पीपल डाइड एंड ऑल सो तीन मेंबर कमेटी थी थ्री वॉज अ थ्री मेंबर कमेटी एंड आई एस ऑफिसर राजकुमार बेनीवाल आई पी एस सुभाषु त्रिवेदी एंड सेक्रेटरी चीफ इंजीनियर वे आर देयर है ना so these are the people who were involved in this sit and they found out that actually ha huh, zang lag a main reason tha out of the 49 wires 32 were corroded yani 49 me se 22 me to zang laga hua tha it means it was not properly maintained the remaining 27 were even broken and all to matlab bahut acche sthiti mein nahi tha wo theek hai so that is what uh, it said according to the report ठीक है SIT also found during renovation work old suspenders steel rods which connect the cable with the platform deck were welded into the with the new suspenders तो पुराना लोहा को नया से कुछ इस तरह वेल्ड वुड करके बना दिया मतलब कहने के मतलब है कि प्रॉपर्ली मेंटेन नहीं था आप इतना समझ लेना सो इन फैक्ट द SIT हैज हेवीली क्रिटिसाइज्ड एक्चुअली द मेंटेनेंस एंड ऑल और देखो टाइम्स ऑफ इंडिया में रिपोर्ट है हाइफ ऑफ मोरबी केबल्स वर ब्रोकन बिफोर ट्रेजेडी एंड ऑल यानी ट्रेजेडी से पहले हादसे से पहले ये टूटा हुआ था या कमजोर था कोरोडेड था so that is what it was so guys one more thing is that uh, we are having a free workshop uh, how to maximize clad preparation during holidays 26 february at 7 pm with abhimanyu you sir theek hai so 26 february ko at 7 pm we'll be having a session the link is given in the description from where actually you can register it so please do follow this class that would be very very beneficial and one more thing is we are running a clad 2024 course december 2023 ko this exam hai so hardly 10 9 10 months is left if you have not bought this course go for it that would be very very beneficial 300 plus recorded videos 300 plus hours of live session 35 plus mock test would be there so if you have query call on this number 9538956878 par call kar sakte hain okay so this is all about today's class thank you everyone please subscribe to our channel follow us on instagram telegram uh, facebook and all and download the byju's exam prep app so thank you everyone thanks for watching have a nice day